Okay, this is a short video to go over the reactor cards that you can assign when in inventory. Now, usually when I'm in a hurry, I just go through and find the one that's green along the bottom, as much green as I can find along the bottom, which one has a higher number. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can totally do it that way. Um, this video is just if you want to understand the individual sections, like the optimization condition and the skill power boost ratio section and all that stuff. That's all it is. So at the top, skill power and sub attack power obviously are just like based on whatever that level is, like level 16. The optimization condition is based on what weapons you have equipped personally. I actually have a tactical rifle equipped in one slot and a hand cannon equipped in another slot. So for both of these cards, I qualify for my skill power to be 140% of the 472 instead of just 100%. And I just cleaned these out so I don't think I have one where they're missed. All three cards that I happen to have, I have whatever weapon in question is equipped. So that's what the optimization condition section is, is if you have the weapon in question equipped, then your skill power at the top is multiplied by 140 instead of 100. That's the optimization condition. So now the skill power boost ratio section has to do with the descendant skills in general. Each descendant sort of has um, a category of skills, like non-attribute skills. Ajax has non-attribute skills. Uh, tech skills, fire skills. You know, Lepix has fire skills. And I have tech skills for like both of these. Here, this one had, the one on the right now has fusion skill. So if your descendant has skills in any of these categories, you will get to the 0.2 boost. And that 0.2 is multiplied, is determined, the math is determined off of the overall skill power from the optimization condition. So, blah, blah, blah. so what that means is, like on the left, the card on the left, the skills along the bottom are 661.69 for the first three and 794.03 for the fourth one. For Fiesa, her fourth skill is a tech skill. So what that means is the 47264 at the top, because I qualified for 140% because I had the tactical rifle equipped, that is the 66169. That's where the first three numbers come from and why they don't match 472. It is because I have a tactical rifle equipped. Now, the 66169 is then multiplied by 0.2 to give us the difference for, to make it up to the 79403. That is why her fourth skill has a higher value than the first three is because her fourth skill is a tech skill and so it qualifies for the skill power boost ratio. So let that sink in. So now you can find out what type of skills your descendant has by going to the descendant screen and looking at the skills up here. Underneath the video at the top, you can see where it says Frost Shards Chill Fusion. So her first three are fusion skills and her fourth one is a tech skill. That's how I know that information. So let me remove this tactical rifle and we will put anything else on. So now I do not have a tactical rifle equipped. So you can see the card on the left, the numbers have dropped significantly. They're no longer 669. It's because I don't qualify for the optimization condition of 140% because I don't have a tactical rifle weapon equipped. So that's like sort of how to read these individual sections on the card and where the math comes from and all that kind of thing. Now, because the skill power is the same, uh, the two cards that we're looking at, let me go put Tactical Rifle back on so that this sh shows.
here we go, 472.64, it's exactly the same. So now you're wondering, why is the one on the left have 661.69 for the first three and 66.98 for the second card? That comes from the very, very bottom with the little extra buffs that you get at the very, very bottom. Like the one on the left has skill cooldown or skill critical hit rate or whatever. The one on the right has a chill skill power boost ratio. So because I have Viesa and she has chill powers, I get an extra 0.008% of a boost to each of my skill powers along the bottom. So that's why it's like 5 higher plus 5.29 like higher from the one and then my skill cost is cheaper so that's sort of how to read the reactor cards if you're interested in looking at them a little more detailed so lastly if you want to register the attached items you can see at the bottom of the card on the right it says that what that means is you can uh flag it for a heart that means it's like one of your favorites so that's what on like register attached items means it means heart it so that's a basic overview on how to read the reactor cards in general. And so if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them.